Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Brook and Easter Broadcast Network and using StreamYard on YouTube. Hello, hello. And Hi, everybody. Welcome, everybody. And welcome also, of course, to my special guest, uh, Debo Bricks and partner in crime with regard to the Rebrick This Challenges. So as you know, we've been doing this for about, gosh, five months since what, February? Yeah. yeah, we started in February and we've been trading off back and forth with regard to rebrick this challenges. And it's just been amazing seeing all of the different creativity that has come out of this. And I just wanted to say it's been it's been really a lot of fun just going through these. And it's good to see you again, Devo. It's good to see you, too. Good to see you, too. Uh, oh, man. I'm so excited about every everything everybody's turned in here. Like they, there are so many pieces in this in the set this time around that just <laughs> it I mean, was mind blowing. It, it was mind blowing, but it was almost like too much overload. You know, you had so many curves, but so few like bars and clips. So like there's there's a lot of tactic changes no that need to be joint. made. Yeah, zero no mixels. zero mixel joints. So hi, Robin. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's been really a lot of fun just seeing. Um, well, I think too one of the things that I th I think we should recommend is some of these models. I think you should put them on rebrickable, because then you know those instructions will be available for other people who get the set. And I I think I may do that with my ships because I really liked all the ships that I was able to make, and and you made a bunch of ships this time around too. Yeah, so. I got I got all my ships out of the way in like one one build. This time around. So <laughs> well, got that worked that out of my system. You out. actually combined both the bride and the groom brickhead sets together, which was crazy. <laughs> well, I, I I actually combined combined them on the last one, but on yes. the first two that I did, I did similar builds from each set. So like mm -hmm. all the all the pieces you can still identify as to which set they went with, and you can, you know, put them off in their corners and then start again with that, but. But yeah, there's there was a lot of variety in there. So I mean, yeah, definitely. And especially when you're working with two sets at once, trying to trying to do a similar theme off one and the other, it, it, it was it was a little bit of a chore, but it was it was it was joyous. Well, I have here. This is the. I'll go ahead and spotlight me for a moment. This is the the bride brickhead set, and this one had three hundred and three pieces which is a lot in and of itself. In fact, what I ended up doing, oops, <laughs> I almost removed myself from the studio. <laughs> I did that last time when I was playing around with the uh, the buttons. <laughs> oh, hey, Brick Brack NL, also known as Writing uh, Sis. <laughs> Great, good to have you here. Yeah, um, hey. and then the groom was what, 255 pieces. So, you know, what a plethora of pieces that you could build so many great things. So, and if you look at the price point, I did the, the Grimm set on my Thrifty Thursday set or my show. And I, I was just blown away for like $12.99. You get all of that in one set. Yeah. And depending on which one you went with, um, like if you went with the groom, it had a whole lot more bricks that you could work with. Whereas right. if you went with the bride, like because of all the all the different hairstyles that they allowed you had you had so many of those little curved bits and such so yeah i mean it different different strategies for each but really really great really great parts packs either way you go yep definitely and cowboy uh, cornado has just shown up as well howdy <laughs> good to see you. i hope you're feeling better and uh, yeah we've been um, in also last night by the way just a shout out to cowboy kenobi we did the Tuk Tuk, re, um, not a rebrick, we did a community build of the Tuk Tuk. And I had so much fun with that. And now I'm looking for my Tuk Tuk. I just had it here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> so this was a lot of fun doing the Tuk Tuk. Oh, here, let me show uh, Debo's first. I think yours is the original. Just, right? a, just, just the classic original Tuk Tuk with uh, a yeah. couple really old customized figures in there. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so writing sis, um, brick brack, uh, thank you so much for the uh, compliment about the, um, that you really liked the challenge because yeah, in, in similar to you that I did the bride separately and the groom separately, and I hadn't thought about moving them together. So you'll see that in our builds. And then just to follow up with the tuk tuk 
is that what uh, Cornado had uh, mentioned is that you could just use the parts in your own collection and re-brick this and it will still look great. You don't have to worry about color matching and all of that. So, <laughs> and as I was building this, people said, you know, that looks like an ambulance. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to redo this and add some of the, you know, the caduceus symbols and the crosses to make it more like a, the tuk-tuk ambulance. So that was, that was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> people are definitely gonna get out of the way for that in traffic. <laughs> Well, you know, and, and uh, Debo knows this, that I'm a, a big fan of the Minions, and I, lately I've been doing the Minion sets. And so lately, since, um, you know, one of the character goes Bido, Bido, so I've been calling him Debo, Debo, Debo. <laughs> and you can imagine this going across the stream, Be Debo, Debo, Debo. <laughs> so I can't that'll actually, be I can't the call that. of Debo. Yeah, with this new ambulance. So, yeah, you... I, I think that if if you do have a chance to do both, I mean, there's, you know, you can always pick up the set because the set will be there for a while. You know, the bride and the groom, it's it's only available, though, through Lego. So I think that might have been a challenge for some people, too, if they're used to going to, you know, their, their local um, uh, big, big box store, you know, whether it's Walmart, Target, Meijer. I mean, a lot of them carry Lego. And right. then there's the people who refuse to buy any kind of brickhead. <laughs> so don't worry. We're not forcing you to buy anything. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, the point of the thing is to make it not a brickhead. So, I mean, there's, there's a little bit of incentive to that. You know? Just think about it as a parts pack. right? Yeah. Just take the word brickhead off of it. And for those of you who are not going to buy brickheads, I just made the trophy. And the trophy has a lot of the same pieces that are in the brickhead. So if you wanted to get something which is similar at the same kind of price point, uh, you feel single. <laughs> I did not name names. <laughs> no, but since you have moved your, your um, identity forward, Cowboy Cornejo, <laughs> it's not just you. There's other people. And honestly, I... I'm not one who embraces brickheads. It's not like every time a brickhead comes out, there's some people who say, I gotta get that brickhead. You know, I'm very selective about the brickheads that I get. Yeah, so, it took me it took yeah. me a while to come around on them. I've got, uh, I think my first one was Lucky Cat. Uh, and then I went after the Sp Statue of Liberty, uh, the mm -hmm. Dragon Dance guy. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Right, yeah, I've they, got- They start to take up a lot of space the more you get. Yeah, yeah. I, I also did the Coraline Brickhead, the one that uh, Holly Walkman put out the instructions for charity. So I did that as well. But um, I think it's the eyes. I think it's the eyes that are still kind of creeping me out sometimes. <laughs> it's like I could just replace those eyes with other kinds of eyes. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of feels like they're walking on um, Funko's territory and Funko's already been there. And so like if you mm. if you really want that, like they usually offer that through, through them. And, and it's a little bit cuter sometimes. A bit it's cuter. a lot cuter. <laughs> and if we had um, Brickworm on, she works for Funko. So I'm sure that uh, she has an opinion about Funko versus Brickheads as well. But uh, yeah, but it was so much fun just going through the different builds. And especially when you're combining the two together, that's what over 700 pieces, which is just phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, they really like the Funkos, that's true. Thank you, writing uh, Seuss. <laughs> All right, so let's try this out. Um, this is StreamYard, so it's a little different than last time when we used Zoom. So my hope is that it's gonna behave similarly, but uh, Debo, you're gonna have to um, also watch the chat because when I'm sharing the screen, oh, yeah. I can't see the chat window. <laughs> so it's like one of these days, these vendors are going to figure out when you share the screen that we also need to see the chat. <laughs> so. well, I'm doubled down on comments. So okay. I'm, I'm okay, seeing everything great. as it comes in. All right. So here, let's go ahead and let's uh, share my screen. And uh, as we were talking uh, before the broadcast started, we were just talking about how uh, we have um, been really, really blessed to have so many talented builders on this. And uh, what I've done here is we've got the uh, rebrick this July 2021. And we'll go through and make sure we catch because some of them just said rebrick this, some said rebrick this July 21, 
and some, you know, uh, were, were um, I think, July uh, 21. So we hopefully we catch everything. So I'm going to go down to the very beginning, I think. I think this is how we started last time, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> remind, refresh my memory. Start you know. at the bottom and work our way up. Okay. All right. That's, there we go. Yeah. So we've got little scrap here and a little scrap uh, put together with the bride set. And this is a bee on a branch. And I think what's interesting is that we had several bees in this challenge. There's a lot of black and yellow. There was a yeah. lot of black and yellow. And yeah. Yeah. Especially if you went with the bride set. Right. And what I like about this too is that how the the bee is on a branch and that they they made a flower too with the the white uh, curved slopes. Oh yeah. 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 How did like, they get the uh, how did they get the wings? Oh, I see. I see. As far that as is really that is people. really working the the only clip and bar connection that you have. <laughs> in the that, oh man. Well, yeah, we were talking about how. This compared to like the mech, right? Where the mech had, um, you know, all these mixel joints. This had zero mixel joints. <laughs> so working with that was definitely uh, a challenge. Yeah, and as as far as bars go, you had those little sprout bits, mm -hmm. and then you had the glasses, and that was pretty much it. Now, I mean, yeah. you have clips for a lot of different uh, flesh tones that were included. Right. in there so i mean you've got medium nougat you got brown you've got tan but uh but yeah things to attach and ways to do it it, uh -huh. it was really limited so you had to that was over and above figuring that one out for sure definitely so so this one's from hooded one or dutch hooded one on instagram and uh i really like um a lot of the modern buildings that you can make from this so oh yeah this Mike, uh, he says, um, it this challenge pushed him into micro buildings. <laughs> so, and I love this top here, how he got the three kind of um, angles. Because when I first saw yeah. this, I thought it was only like uh, two. So, seeing this from the top view, I think also helped with understanding the design. Yeah, trying trying to get a triangle design like that going with, right? You know, not not much to work with as far as hinges. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty spectacular. And then, uh, oh, I love the cut in the way this this building cuts in. Yeah, on that corner with the slopes. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes it look like there's just like this little uh, like a patio or something. Yeah, just mm -hmm. on each every single floor there. It's fantastic. Yeah, and I also like how Hooded One likes to use the back of the um, base, the base plates or the plates, yeah. to um, for a backdrop, and Too that sad. really added to to this photo. But he's oh, also yeah. a professional photographer, <laughs> so he knows about lighting and other things. And this right. back view of the building was also really great to see too. Really yeah. love that. Fantastic. And then this this to completely black building with this like antenna on top. Really, really love this. Yeah, and it feels almost like a Tolkien tower or something. You, you got Tolkien out of this, really? I I, 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 the black? I feel feeling a little bit of it with, uh, with, the, with the black, and then you have the um, what is it, the flower stud with the yeah. uh, with the rings on there? Yeah, kind of almost looks like the Iris Lord of the Rings kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I see that now. Yeah, see, I was thinking more Atlas Shrugged <laughs> when I saw this. You know, the Anne Rand and yeah. novel with regard to the architect. And yeah, so it just shows you our frame of reference. <laughs> yeah. And then this one, too. This one actually reminded me of a bird when I first saw this. I thought birdhouse when I saw it. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, good. I'm not. I'm not the only one. Yeah, and and then it's. I think he used this arm clip for a two by two. So I think you know it goes back to you know when when he says it's a micro city, then it changes your frame of reference for what you should be seeing. Yeah, because I mean at first this looks like just some guy out playing frisbee golf, but then you're <laughs> then you're like, well, I mean it's it's in the context of the other buildings, so right. Frisbee golf headquarters. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, maybe it is the Frisbee Golf Headquarters because it is supposed to be a building, right? But the way he used the arms on both sides, it, it makes you think it's a figure. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know. I, th I think one. maybe maybe this one is a figure and it's just mixed in with the other ones. because It's I mixed mean, in. It's just, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so hopefully I'm, I'm managing this properly because that's the end of his slideshow for that. Yeah, that was, okay. that, was, that was a great set. And then here's the little scrap again. And this time, this is the groom and what he did with the groom. So it looks like uh, I'm looking at the description. Moth. Yeah, it's a moth to the, uh, to a light bulb. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's so, interesting yeah. that he, he did a butterfly, I think, on the last one. And... Um, on, on the branch and here he's going through the moth. So in a way they're complimentary that way. They are. And I thought, I think that's something you get into when you're trying to do like two builds from two different, mm -hmm. two different, but similarly themed sets. Like right. in your mind, you want to try and unite them in some way. And I think, I think that's how the mm. scrap did this. Yeah. You know, two very, I mean, very similar, but very different little winged insects. Yeah, this close-up shot with the clip where it makes it look like its face, you yeah, know, and, and like a little mandible, really. Well, really it's good. it's because the uh, the moths, um, their proboscis is just like this big cur curly cue that just sits right. Is that up there. right? So yeah, and so when they oh, wow. when they feed, it just extends and yeah. So it's it, it looks kind of weird actually. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's the eyes? <laughs> well, no, they. I mean, I'm just, I'm just talking about moths in general. I think this looks fantastic. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, moths in general and just bugs in general. Yeah. Just and how do they get that powder on their wings? The award. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a little scrap. All right, now this is Devo's. Yeah, yeah. This, this was my first try uh, at one mm -hmm. because I was... I don't know, I was, I was watching everything everybody else did and I started to see like all the curves and I was like, well, right. it, it started to strike me almost like Smurf houses. I could do something like that. Yeah. It's just like a curved thing, you know, no mushroom roofs, but yeah. So I, I, you know, started off with one to see how it mm -hmm. went. I started with the bride one and I was like, all right, that kind of looks like if I stretch my imagination, it looks like it could be a hut. Yeah. It looks and like, then, like a hobbit house, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I had leftover pieces. I just kind of made a barn and then uh, mm -hmm. like a little, garden and plot a little flower front. garden too yeah and then and i just then I uh, love this little birdhouse you have on the left here yeah i just kind of That's tried so to mirror, cool. mirror mirror what was going on in the other one and then i had mm -hmm. all these extra pieces and just trying to figure out how it would work into a similar kind of a yeah a similar kind of scene i remember you building this on stream too i think you built this one on stream right or was it another one the cow <laughs> i i built on stream i know maybe i did this one can't remember. I mean, and in some of them I might start on streaming. Yeah. And this is another good perspective too, uh, where you can see the, the front of the house and the little chimney stacks. I mean, you have such good attention to detail and here's the flower bed. Yeah. And then, um, the yeah, I just use those glasses as uh, kind of like a little fence like a there fence. to kind of mm -hmm. chill it out. And here's another close-up view of this. And this also reminded me of the Winter Village sets, where you have the, yeah. snow, the top roofs. Mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of wanted to see if I could I could make it look like a, just a separate white roof, and then for the other one, just a separate black roof, and not mm -hmm. make it look like it was snow. Right. But every time you look at it, it, it looks like snow. <laughs> it looks like snow. And yeah. especially when you got the uh, smoke coming out of the chimney. I mean, uh -huh. it implies it's kind of cold out. So Yeah, yeah it, it makes you – it's a very homey, heartwarming kind of uh, – look so good job and here's another view of the flower bed which i like too and i thought it was interesting that they had these leaf pieces in there just the one right for the bouquet yeah yeah that was that was kind of odd but i mean it, yeah i was like what do you do with this one piece it kind of worked my favorite thing in this little build though is actually that oh. little lamp that's on the front of the barn that's kind of overhanging there the lamp yeah, just the it's it's like uh, the clip with the uh, jumper uh, right at the oh, top of the barn. Oh, this one right here, right on the right. No, the the barn, the yellow building there in the background. Oh, the yellow building. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm looking at the front. Oh, okay, this here. Yeah, yeah, that that, that little bit is my yeah. favorite part of the building. Oh, that's nice. See, it's nice talking to the builder because then you get all these other details too. I also like this skirting that you put around the edge. 
Yeah, that, and that's actually the backside of what I had done. I uh, on the other side of that build, it I did a full like doorway and everything, and tried to make it look like windows. But I don't think it was too successful, so you don't really see that side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say I don't see the image of the other side of the barn. Yeah, that's that's, that's by design. Here. That was by design. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's go on. So we haven't had any comments in the chat, so I'm just checking. Oh, um, just just stuff from uh, Robin was talking about the bees, uh, and then the oh, wings okay. from moth, and then uh, writing so uh, dug that smoke there. Thank you, Rex. Yeah, I'm kind of Bye. flying blind here, unless I switch back and forth. So you love the wings, okay? But the then, wow, the what we're what we're about to see is gonna blow anybody's mind who hasn't seen it yet. So I'm just right, prefacing that duck. before we go further beyond into the <laughs> duck. But that duck is amazing, absolutely. That's well, and this is perfect because this is how Lego started with the wooden duck. Yeah. So I think that you know putting a duck in into play was so perfect, and this one is from the groom, right? The groom set. And Robin, you really did an awesome job on this. And then look at the family of owls. Yeah, this <laughs> or bats, maybe. Well, it's like um, the it says the second picture Pre is uh, creatures of the, the dark. So we got yeah. uh, we got an owl, we got a bat, and then uh, I think a little vampire dude uh, yeah. down there with the, with the red the glowing eyes. piece. I mean, that was yeah. so perfect. <laughs> I love the expressions on their faces too yeah yeah that and it just looks look so good that. and then the I gold rimmed eyes on the owl these too how she angled the um uh what do you call them the eyes so yep. instead of you know being off center they're they're on top of each other like that so i'm gonna have to borrow that sometime yeah it's a good really good touch awesome job yeah cool okay let's see who's next and another robin Eklund which this one I think is one of my favorites. That and we were talking great. about the bees earlier. So Robin, I think this is one you should put on Rebrickable is because this is just so amazing what you've that done is, with this bee. That is the chubbiest, cutest little bee I think I've ever seen. <laughs> the chubbiest and cutest, yes. Yeah. Cute and chubby. Definitely up to some bumbling for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And the so cool. little um, pattern, this kind of uh, almost like a cross pattern for the back, similar to what you were doing with your um, fence. She put that little fence in the back here. Yeah. I, I think what's going on there is that it's just like a bigger flower. that. Uh, oh, okay. I, that's what I think. Yeah. Zach Martinez is here. Hey, Zach. Hey, Zach. How's it going? And then look at this little yard. I mean, this this whole yeah. um, design of this house with the little garden patio. And I think this is a dock. I said she calls it a micro build of a little country cottage. Oh, yeah, I think a little, gate. little fence there in the, the front. It opens up. Gate. Oh, yeah. that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And using this, the clip as a way to put that angle in there. Yeah. So good. Nicely done. Really love it. I'm gonna look back at the chat just real quick. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. I, I'm gonna highlight that chubby, chubby. <laughs> chubby. That's the that's the name of your bee, chubby. chubby. <laughs> that's so cute. So yeah, and and Zach, how is Brick Rodeo? I hope you're enjoying that. I know yeah. that I've seen some photos coming coming around and. You want to see people's builds, so we'll watch later tonight. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, uh, Zach, and have fun also at Brick Rodeo. Give our regards to the Texans and yes. everybody else who is there. It's one of the first cons that is starting again after Bricks by the Bay. That we it is, and I've, I've seen pictures of crowds. Like, that place is pretty packed. Pretty well, packed. and Brick Fair Virginia is coming up soon, too. Yeah. Okay, so here's Here mine. we go. <laughs> Pirate ship time. Of course, you know, every time we've done a rebrick challenge, I always have to do ships. <laughs> and every time, and every time we do, and every time we do this, I, I always remind you to go and check out One Piece. And and this I one, did. especially, I why? Did. I did actually. I did check out One yeah? Piece. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I have. I haven't nice. watched a full episode yet, but I now know what you're talking about. Yeah, because so, um, like yeah. Uh, in the further iterations of their ship, because uh, mm -hmm. their their vessels get destroyed every once in a while, and they got to get oh, a new okay. one. Um, but uh, I believe in the latest one, the Thousand Sunny. It has actually mm -hmm. orange trees on the deck. Oh, and uh, a full lawned area. So oh, that's so I when I when I see those sprouts getting... sticking up there. That that makes me think of that. <laughs> Well, the sprouts were supposed to be flags. <laughs> so that, that was my rendition of flags that you would see on a pirate ship. And you can see that um, the other thing that I should have been in the photo is I used those, um, those red flowers and I yeah. stopped them so that they would be cannons on the big ship. But I, I think what happened when I was moving things around, they rolled off because they weren't secured. <laughs> So Sometimes, I said they're yeah. lost at sea. Yeah. But Those flowers then, are tough to keep hold of. They they were going yeah. everywhere for me every time I tried to build something here. But I had so much fun with this. And here's just some different perspective views. And I think Joel's not on the call right now, but um, we, he said this could be the Nina, Pinta, and the Santa Maria. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim that. <laughs> so the little Pinta here, the Nina, and the Santa Maria. Yeah, Very so nice. I have fun with that. And then I had leftovers for goofy faces. So <laughs> this is where you, Debo, have influenced me as far as starting to build faces out of things. <laughs> well, it's, it's killing me that these are the leftovers because this looks like, you know, something you would do like your first thing out because these look so good. Like this it's doesn't amazing. seem like you're just cobbling things together after the fact. This is. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Especially that one on the left. Oh, with the uh, eyebrows. This one, yeah. yeah. I kind of think of that like a bull face. You know, I was kind okay. of going for like, this could be the rings around the nose or something. But uh, yeah, when I was working on this, I said, okay, now I see why Debo likes to do faces. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that, that was my entry from, and this one's for the bride. Okay, Very cool. now we have a little scrap. And I think uh, this one's from the groom set. Yeah, and I think this is uh, mm -hmm. a, a lot of people, you know, a couple people, a lot of people. Uh, a couple people uh, did uh, daily brick limit challenges also, right? Uh, or using, for the, using the bride and groom sets. Yeah, and this and, is this is one of those. Yeah, and that's why it's great uh, dovetailing multiple challenges. And I was so glad when Tricky Bricks mentioned about how it's okay to use, you know, some from another challenge into their challenge because I thought somebody said that they didn't really like that before. <laughs> So when they announced that, I was like, oh, thank goodness. Because, I mean, there's so many challenges going on right now. Yeah. So I, I love this. I mean, using all the black pieces, you know, and that little center tower really mm. nailed it. Yeah, this has but, a definite sense of place. Yeah. Yeah. And this could be in your Lord of the Rings next to your Lord of the Rings tower. <laughs> it could be. Oh, yeah. Oh, this yes. This was Debo's and Debo, I should mention that uh, he, he reached out to me. He goes, I've, I've made a lot of ships. So could you post yours first and then I'll post mine? <laughs> well, yeah, because like sometimes when you do something on your stream, it, it'll take a couple days, you know, to, to make it right. into Instagram or something like that. But because I knew that was there and because I already had this, I was like, I, I'm not I'm not going to be the first one out there with a pirate ship. <laughs> Well, I, or, or pirate ships or any kind of ships because I didn't I didn't want to like uh, jump jump the line. You know? I, I I'm very appreciative of that. You're very um, very kind to to think about me that way. And uh, I also think everybody knows when I've done these rebrick this challenges. Yeah. There's always a ship in there somehow. Every time. But, but I love how this is a combination of both the bride and the groom. It's a boat boat. <laughs> it's cool. and I love this little lighthouse and you have piers and you have, you know, docking stations. It's not just ships. You thought about the land items too. And, and I think this is also a lighthouse too. Is this a big well, that, lighthouse and a little lighthouse? Well, we, uh, on the left, that's a lighthouse, uh, mm -hmm. in the, in the foreground there. Right. This one. Um, yeah. And then the other one you're pointing out is kind of a steamship that I was trying to make look Oh, like this a tugboat, a but oh, okay. it didn't, I don't know. Tugboats usually have kind of a, a, a big prow and then mm -hmm. it goes down the back and that's pretty much uniform all around. Right. But yeah, I started, uh, 
I started yeah, I making one ship. micro scale. Like, see, I'm from San Francisco, so I thought Alcatraz when I ah, saw that. So. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I I get that. I've, I've been to Alcatraz, and it does it does look Alcatrazy from a distance. Well, it, you know, like I said, it goes back to frame of reference. And yeah. um, Tricky Bricks mentioned this when they saw mine of the rebrick this challenge, where I took the Captain America, yeah. and made it into a ship. And it, they said, oh, I thought of the H.G. Wells time machine. But it all goes back to perspective, right? Right. But yeah, and then, I mean, I, that wasn't my first try to Lighthouse because I, I tried mm -hmm. to do a Lighthouse with a bride set and it didn't quite work. Right. Uh, so then I just turned that into a dock. And then when I started with, with the groom stuff, because I did that second, I was like, oh, my God, I got a Lighthouse right here. Sweet. Right. And then I just kind of trashed the other idea and turned it into that dock. And I'm glad I'm not the only one who saw uh, Alcatraz in there. So, so thank you, uh, uh, writing us uh, so that you can see Alcatraz too. It does look like a micro Alcatraz. Yeah, Pro probably could have made Alcatraz with this set with all the. You probably could. That's, that's true. Exactly. Well, cool. And then I think you have another view here. Actually, yeah, yeah it's just like a. Uh, uh, this, I love this yellow ship too. All this stuff was made with the groom uh, yeah. that we're seeing right here, mm -hmm. and then in that previous picture, I believe that was all stuff that was done with the bride. Oh, this one—that's yeah. the bride section. Yep, yeah. that's that's all the stuff that I made. Oh, with the pieces okay. And here's the groom section, and then this is the whole and then that's of ships. Everything all together there. Yeah. And see, in this picture, it looks a little bit less like Alcatraz, but. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it was the angle. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think opinions have already been formed by the time you guys get to this this picture. So it's already Alcatraz. For it's you. already Alcatraz. Well, like there's I no said, coming I'm back from Alcatraz. Francisco, so I'm gonna think of those, you know, kind of highlights. Yeah. I mean, I might even say this other one is Coit Tower if I wanted to. Ooh, but Coit Tower. The light, the lighthouse there. Yeah. I love Coit Tower. I did not like to walk up to Coit Tower, but I love Coit Tower. Well, yeah. And if you think about it, Coit Tower back in the day in what, 1910 or whenever it was yeah. built, it was the largest, was it. you know, monument in the city. <laughs> and then now it's dwarfed by all these skyscrapers. But still, I mean, I mean, speaking of from Al about Alcatraz, you know, coming back mm -hmm. from Alcatraz, coming back into, you know, the bay. Um, like you could see Coit Tower clearly; it stood out oh, just yeah. prominently in front of everything else. So I mean, it's 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 still holding its own. And when that. it's lit up at night, it is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and, it, it and it's a nice tribute to the firefighters too. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know about Coit Tower, Coit Tower is a a, a a nozzle from a hose. That's the model of what Coit Tower is, and it was a monument to the firefighters of the 1906 earthquake. So I didn't know it was nozzle. You didn't know it was a nozzle? I yeah. didn't know it was not. I, I knew it was yeah. like dedicated to the firefighters. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the know. end nozzle of the, the hose. That's, I'm never going to look at it the same way now. Yeah. See, I'm from San Francisco. <laughs> if you ever come to San Francisco, I have like a tour that I give to people. I'll, I'll, I'll go through that sometime on a separate stream. But uh, yeah. Nice. So this is Debo's too. And this this one you did build on your stream. This and one, I, I, I got the cowl yeah. <laughs> because I was trying to make a cat. And oh, um, okay. it, it was just the curves weren't working right the way I had the plate. Well, because at the center of that is where I've got all the uh, all those snot bricks. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't because I had set it up like that. I wasn't really able to manipulate the curves a lot. And it just became real boxy and bovine. So there it is. And look at this. The cow is so amazing. I agree. Oh, thank you. And uh, apparently he didn't get to Coit Tower when um, they were in San Francisco. So you can always Coit see it, though. And, but yeah. the, the walk to Co Coit Tower up, up the nozzle is, you know, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not, <laughs> but the it's view not. is amazing when you get to the top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like the elevator or the, the tower itself does have an elevator, but the walk up to the tower. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's steep. Uh, it's, you know, San Francisco's a city full of hills. Yeah. <laughs> and I love this little, uh, it's a storefront, I think, right? It's a farmhouse. Yeah. Um, just a main farmhouse there. And, and then I did the same thing again with the fences and the flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, that I, I did it. 
in the first one. Uh, but in the foreground there, you see I got a little haystack and a little micro pig. And then everything oh. with this build, like the further you went back from the cow, everything gets a little mm -hmm. bit more diminished. So uh, the pig and the haystack are at a different scale. The cow is at a different scale. The house is at a different scale. And then the stuff way yeah. back, like but the uh, two little is... cars or... So, so well done. And I think if I remember right, Robin Eklund recommended the pink. Yes, Robin did. Robin two by two for the other. For the others. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a brilliant move. I was trying to figure out something with white bricks down there at the time. And then uh -huh. Robin said that and it was just like a revelation. I was like, thank you. Yeah, that's that's light perfect. Light. Of course. Why didn't I see it? Because I mean, the four studs on the bottom is perfect. And that's why I love building on stream because people in the audience can often see things that I'm I'm not seeing, and then it it really adds to it. Yeah. And this is a nice little patch too. Yeah, that was it was originally just going to be like a display stand mm -hmm. for whatever I ended up making. Oh, was, I was going to ask you about that because it, it was going to be for a cow, but... the um the display stand for the Amelia Earhart plane. Yeah. No, that was uh, most of the stuff was from. You know, that's the six by sixes from the bases. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the curves that were part of the uh, the top hat for the groom. And some of the other tiles that were in there. So, so Cornado says it looks <laughs> just like the Playmobil cows. So spot on. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I love me some Playmobil. And I'm so glad you love the city uh, writing so us too because it is my hometown and yeah. if I could afford to live there I would probably live there but I'm uh, I'm in Seattle now <laughs> so, but yeah and they say you let you leave your heart in San Francisco it's so true I, I really love it okay and by the way I, do people like this format because I kind of like how uh, Debo and I are you can see both of our faces and you can also see the slideshow at the same time so I hope you you like this we're trying it out, trying it out, and hopefully everyone is uh, enjoying it. Okay, so let's go back to now. Oh yes, Brick Brack NL, and I'm, this is Writing Sis who's in the chat, and I just had this big smile on my face when I saw this this little Snoopy dog that yeah. is so adorable. Absolutely yes. love this. Though so you good. called this a Dalmatian dog, but when I saw this, I thought of Snoopy, the character. Yeah, I mean, immediately I can hear the piano music going through yeah. every time I look at him. Yeah, I thought of, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very well done. And and the mm -hmm. bass is, bass is nice. It's so nice. It just, it, it, it makes it look like a nice, Something solid, complete piece. Coming out like that? Yeah. I really love this, and and this was from the the bride. But uh, going back, I think to was was Snoopy a beagle? I think that was yes, yeah. Snoopy's a beagle. And so when I was looking at this, and the other thing, of course, that came to my mind was the, the panda colors. <laughs> this is like a skinny panda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last night, as I had like gotten everything from this, the these two sets sorted and put away and everything like that, and I was looking at a couple of the pictures, and I was like. Why did I not try and build a panda? Yes, like, I, they, I'm thinking the same thing. When I saw this, I said I should have built a panda. Yeah, the obvious, <laughs> obvious build just like escaped us. So, boom. Well, I, I think there's always room to do one in the future. In fact, another shout out to Cowboy Kenobi because he he made a panda tuk tuk, a black and white tuk tuk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that. Oh yeah, and and. Uh, wanted to do something outside of the box and so not using the yellow. And I, I hear that sometimes you, there are just so many colors you have to really tone right. down your palette, just give you just a little bit to work with. And then uh, the whole thing starts to look more cohesive that way sometimes. Right. And, and, and Robin's in this case. as well. <laughs> so, it's not just me. <laughs> I think, I think it's the proportions that really scream Snoopy. Yeah. Or I wonder, did you see Snoopy because I said Snoopy or did you see Snoopy before I said Snoopy? Because I, I think, like I said, that was the first thing when I first saw it. I said, oh, it's Snoopy. This is so great. That's awesome. Well, yeah, it, it, it's definitely pro Snoopy proportions. <laughs> Snoopy proportions. This is great. And here's one from me. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I had to take this photo really quickly so I don't have any close-ups. But I don't know if I've seen this yet. You haven't. 
I literally posted this when we were telling people you can build until and you can post it to like um yeah. what 1259. <laughs> I think I posted this, I don't know, uh half an hour before we were gonna broadcast. So in this case, I built the groom and then I made a micro city out of everything else and a goofy face. So you can't really see the goofy face that much. That's right in front of the groom. It's okay, yeah, I see it. But that's the goofy face. And then this is supposed to be a little micro city, the whole thing kind of combined together. And this is the road in front of the city. So that's, <laughs> that's my interpretation. And, and this little stack of one by ones, I mean, that's about, I mean, I, if, if I had a slope, I probably should have put a slope on the end of that, but yeah. So, so that's my little micro city. Very nice. Very nice. At first, at first I thought it was a living room set just because the, the colors oh. make it look like, you know, you got your chair, your ottoman, oh, a lamp in the yeah. background, uh, like, uh, and it could I mean, be that's, a TV that you sit you sit in this chair over here and this yeah. is TV over here. Okay. That's that's what I was thinking, but I mean <laughs> now that I now that I'm actually thinking about it and looking at it, there's no way a brickhead is gonna be able to use that as furniture. So <laughs> it, it was I think what happened is that during my stream I had finished the brickhead. And then I said, I have all these pieces left over. And it was either you or somebody else who said, oh, you should start building a micro city. So I started building the micro city. And then I said, you know, there's so many pieces in here. I don't really have to dismantle the groom. So here's a good example of you can make your set and then still have plenty to build with afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean... That, that struck me when I first got these way back when they came out. Cause I think these mm -hmm. released actually on the same day, I believe it was January 1st um, yep. of 2020 when these came out and the trophy came out and then also the birthday cake build came out. Like all those hit on the same day and I had to get those right off the bat. Um, so re really when I put these together first, I was like, this is, there's so much left over to this. I, I ended up using them for shingles on a roof and then I got the other set and I ended up yep. using them for like sewer bits and stuff. And, and that's still keeping make the sure we're not missing anybody. Is is this one yours or this one? Oh, is this one mine? Yeah, that's that's yours there. Oh. I think it was. Um, we <laughs> saw that in one of the previous ones. I think this is my goofy face. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you use it as a. I use it, a, I think, for a daily brick limit. Yeah, I use it for a daily brick limit. So <laughs> that's the closest you'll get to a goofy face from me. It's a, a blackish kind of goofy face. So what we're doing is <clears throat> we're just making sure we haven't missed anybody. So um, this is rebrick this 21. The other one was rebrick this 2021. And I'm just going to go search on just rebrick this as well and make sure we haven't missed anybody. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Because I, I I told Brick and Easter earlier I was going through and looking at some of the some of the posts and I just typed in rebrick this didn't complete it and hit enter and it gave rebrick this challenge as an option, mm -hmm. uh, which there was only one post and that was one that we had missed from the Captain America and that was Monica's and I'm sorry right. about it Monica and it looks fantastic it was like Shang Chi inspired. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at that one. Yeah, these are going back to the Wild Lion set, so I think we got everything. Yeah. Hope so. Sure. I think so. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me stop sharing this. Like I said, this is all new to me. So I appreciate you all being patient. And apparently Robin saw a living room as well. <laughs> and I'm, I, I gotta say this is uh stream yards is fantastic. It's looking great. I, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it, it uh, live <laughs> as we're, as we're doing this here and yeah. like, uh, the quality is superb. So. Well, the other thing that's been fun about StreamYard is that you have this interaction that you can pop up the different chats from different people. Like here, I missed this one earlier because it was in the other screen, but Cowboy Kenobi loves pandas too. <laughs> How can you not love pandas? I mean, come on. Pandas are just so adorable. And yeah. They're <laughs> all about eating bamboo. They're not out to hurt anybody. They just want to. Yeah, they just want to lounge around, eat bamboo, and. You know. They're not stealing picnic baskets. They're not like <laughs> causing all kinds of ruckus and jelly stone. I mean, they're they just want to chill. 
Yeah, they're not like the brown bears, right? <laughs> <laughs> brown bears, black bears, grizzly bears, Kodiaks, yeah. Uh, or even polar bears, which are look cute, but don't. So apparently the uh, rebrick this challenge, you prefer that because um, you don't have to worry about the numbers and that, um, oh, and we're so glad too. And that's another reason why the rebrick challenges are great because you have a specific set and all the pieces are there and you can just, and you don't have to use every single piece. I think that's the other reason why I like also the rebrick this challenges too. So thank you. Thank you for that comment. We appreciate that. Okay. So now that we're at the end of the show, I think we have an announcement, right, Debo? Yep. <laughs> Normally, this is the point where we're like, all right, this is going to be the next one we're going to do for the next month. And, you know, this is the date we're going to set it up on. But because there are so many build challenges out there right now and everybody's time is just like stretched really thin uh, between build challenges, between the world starting back up again. Uh, and trying to figure out what your schedule and your life is going to be <laughs> in the future uh, and trying to find a balance uh, to make that all natural. We're, we're, we're pausing uh, rebrick this uh, for now. Um, we're we're going to see what happens. I, 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 I don't know. I, maybe I just don't have the inspiration anymore. I tried to think of what our next set was going to be. Uh, and I th came up with the friend's beauty salon and I thought, okay, this has got a nice variety of parts to see what happens. And I'm just not hitting the inspiration anymore. I'm just tapped uh, because of all the conventions lately and all the challenges and everything. And this was the best I could come up with from that. So yeah, we're 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 just we're just calling this good. Um, but we are pausing it. We're we're going to take it up again. Um, but probably wait for maybe a couple uh, waves of uh, Lego releases to come out. That way, there's um, there's a richer variety of sets to choose from. Uh, at the at the lower price points to to make sure everybody gets uh, gets a fair shot at it and you know see what stuff is re released retail versus what stuff is Lego.com uh, and Lego store exclusives uh, just for ex accessibility and things like that. So, um, but I we we do appreciate everybody building and I've seen some amazing works come out of this uh, things things that I never would have imagined. So I, I do appreciate everybody playing playing along at home with this. Um, but yeah, we're, it's, it's just going to be on pause. And it, it, even if you if you have a set of, that you pick up somewhere and you think it's going to make a, a great thing, post it with hashtag rebrick this because I mean you can you can still do this on your own. It's not um, it's not going to be a set competition at least for not, er, never really was a competition, but not like a set challenge for a little bit just just for a while. I mean we may pick up uh, back in. October, November, December, when uh, when we get to see what uh, holiday schedules look like and how much free time everybody's going to have. Um, but yeah, so so for right now, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving anybody any excuse to go out and buy a set that they would never really normally pick up, uh, at least not this month. Well, I think, too, that um, in, and, and we just got that comment, too, that uh, um, you were just getting back into this. <laughs> so, well, here's another thought too. And I just yeah. sent this uh, to Debo as a, a chat that, you know, I still do my thrifty Thursdays every Thursday. And yeah. I think that to do that. And so if, if people are interested in still doing rebrick this, if you wanted to, you could look at the set that I'm going to do for thrifty Thursday and consider that and then like Debo said just use hashtag rebrick this yeah. and then you know we can we can see how many posts we get and then we can say oh you know there's like you know 12 people who've posted rebrick this one so we why don't we go in and do a review so you know we don't want you to think that you know it's it's done <laughs> it's just that yeah it's just that yeah. everybody's plate is getting really full and you, you got to clear some stuff off the plate before you can put anything else on. There. Right. And then and, um, Robin Eklund also brings up that uh, the, there will be some new three in ones coming out too. And she would have never picked these up if it wasn't for the rebrick this challenges. Yeah. So, and like I said, I still do um, like the trophy, for example, if you wanted to, I just did the trophy as a um, thrifty Thursday and the trophy is a perfect one that could be, for a rebrick this challenge. Yeah. So if you're inclined to do that, I mean, you can tune into my thrifty Thursday because I'm not stopping that. That's still going to continue. And those I always keep to 1999 and less. 
as far as the you know price point so they're still very affordable in fact i think if i remember i think the trophy is either 12.99 or 14.99 $12 so it's still very affordable yeah so if you wanted to i just did that if you want to go get it in fact i'm looking at my trophy now and i was just thinking while i was building it it has a lot of the same slopes that you see on the bride set too so so yeah so i think what we'll do is just feel free to use the hashtag rebrick this tag in fact it, we won't be using rebrick this august or rebrick this september we'll just use hashtag rebrick this because we think it's um, it's always a great way to encourage your creativity by looking at things that are already in the box and like i said if you want to go ahead and my next one i'm going to do which i know uh, some people might not be interested in is the monkey kid brickhead because there's nothing in the monkey kid line that's un that's 19.99 or less except for the brickhead there's, the, there's the brickhead and then there's a, a an mini, fi mini figure three pack yeah. which has like some rc cars and monkey kid right uh, but it's it's a mini figure pack yeah. so i was I, I probably should send a note to you know lego saying if you want to get more people into monkey kid you've got to get us uh, some sets that are at a lower price point but anyway, I don't want to, I want to take this down that road. This could become a totally I'll, different I'll uh, that discussion. On to Thursdays. So I'm going to just tell you already, I've just done the trophy. Next Thursday is going to be the monkey kid brickhead. And then that'll position us for August when there's going to be a whole new wave of new sets coming out. So, but uh, yeah, so feel free to tune in to the Thursday show if you wanted to, to look at that and, and feel free to do hashtag rebrick this because we want, you know, you have all these sets at home. There's probably some sets that you have that you're thinking, you know, I don't really, you know, need that anymore. So why don't I just take the parts and rebrick this into something else? So we hope yeah. you've been encouraged by the last five months or so that we've been doing this and, and we'll keep you posted as far as when we're gonna start this up again. But uh, yeah, I think once we get through the wave of conventions too, I think at the end of October, because October is going to be BrickCon, that we might consider starting things up again around that. I forgot it took two months later than Europe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, we're, we're still waiting on this, this supposedly, allegedly, most likely last wave of video to come out over here. Right. So. Right, exactly. And I, I'm looking forward to some of the bigger sets too, like the Mario airship. That does look Mario nice. For the Mario airship, it's not a thrifty Thursday thing, but I'm looking forward to that. Well, I mean, it's a ship. Of course, you're going <laughs> to. Ships are my jam. Exactly. <laughs> well, great. Well, once again, thank you everyone for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this. And thank you, Debo, so much. I mean, it's always so much fun working with you. And we'll keep you posted. This, this is not going away. We're just going to take a pause. Think of it as a summer vacation. We're yeah. taking a little summer vacation as we start looking at what's coming out. And if you still want to do rebricks, though, and feel free to tune into my Thursday shows. So Thursdays at 9 p.m. Pacific time. And you can go back and watch the reruns, too. So thanks for the hashtag. Yes, keep using the hashtag. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And if we do start doing this again, mm -hmm. um, well, when we do start doing this again, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna go back through and look at everybody who did a rebreak this up until we started up again, and probably do a little segment on that just to see what folks have been working on in the off time. Because the the main thing about keeping this going is the reason why I started it is because Brickanista was working on a minion set on her stream. And I was like, oh, that would be great to use some other parts and come up with something for it because I don't want that minion set, but the, but the bits are good. Um, and, and that's been kind of the driving philosophy behind this whole thing because it's, it's getting folks to take a look at sets that they normally wouldn't pick up uh, and look at sets based on elements and not necessarily on theme. So that's that's one of the ways we wanted to go about this. And that's why 3-in-1 was so big, because 3-in-1 doesn't really have a set theme. Uh, it just has some suggested builds. And uh, a lot of variety just baked right into it. So so I, I just want other people to, to you know go out, take a look at the shelves, see what Lego sets are out there, and then just start thinking about whatever set you could make with 
you know, this Ninjago set that you would never build or this friend set that just does not fit with the rest of your decor or something like that, you know? <laughs> and it's, it's funny because we were, we were talking about, you know, we're kind of at a transition point right now. And I guess I could go ahead and highlight myself. Hello. <laughs> so we were talking about that we're kind of at a transition point right now. And we know that there's so many different challenges and myself personally, I, I'm going to be a theme coordinator for BrickCon. And so we're working on bunkers, we're working on airships. And I know that I, and we wanna make sure that we give the attention to this that it deserves. So just think about this as a summer vacation that, or actually if you're in the Southern hemisphere, a little pause you know, for, for July and August at least. And then we'll regroup and see um, maybe September, October, you know, that might be a good time. I'm thinking October because the first weekend of October is BrickCon. So once BrickCon is over, I don't think there's any other conventions until January. And then that would be, I think, a good time that we could restart something like this. So we'll, we'll keep you posted. And uh, definitely, we really appreciate everybody's attention to this and how much fun you've had. So just think about this as a, a quick break that we're going to take and then we'll we'll start this up again. Yeah. Yeah, just like a little summer vacation, a little hiatus. <laughs> a little a little breather so you can catch up on things around you and then Right. Yeah. Right. Well, thanks again Debo. Thank you everyone. Really appreciate all of your uh, support and feel free to tune in to uh, Debo's stream too. Debo's going to be uh, streaming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific. Or, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Nine Pacific, Pacific God, noon, 12 o'clock my time. time. <laughs> I always think of things in my time zone, so I apologize for that. That's okay. I try and think of things in like 15 different time zones at once. <laughs> it gets really confusing. I never know where I'm at. So. Right. Well, thank you, everyone. And uh, we'll be seeing you again soon. And as they say on the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network, may the clutch be with you. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye, y'all.